What's good, you guys? Of course, we're back again talking about none other than John Fury. It seemed like now that the influencer boxy stuff may be done, he would finally keep his shirt on. But I'm sorry to inform you guys that we may just see those man tits yet again. But this time it will be in the form of an actual boxing match against a former sparring partner of none other than Mike Tyson. Why are you avoiding me? Saying there's no money in fighting me. I've stepped up to the mark, John, and accepted your challenge. They're saying now there's no money in fighting me. Well, I beg to differ, John, because KSI and Misfits Boxing are prepared to back me to the tune of millions of pounds to make the fight between me and you. You're throwing out challenges to Mike Tyson, now to Carl Frotch. Who are you going to challenge next? Carl Frampton? Sylvester Stallone, Rocky Balboa? Step up to the mark, John, to the challenge that's in front of you. Don't swerve me, John, because I'm ready to fight. You threw out the gun, but you threw down the challenge. Now I'm here in front of you, John, and Misfits Boxing and KSI are backing me. Now fight me, John. So you heard it from the man Joe Egan himself. And if you are unfamiliar who Joe Egan is, he is a former Irish heavyweight boxer and was dubbed the toughest white man on the planet by Mike Tyson. And through Egan's tenure as a professional boxer, he was able to win the Irish heavyweight boxing championship four times. And he seems very, very serious about taking on John Fury in the ring. It seems as though John Fury may have issued out the challenge to him first, and now he has accepted, and he is claiming now John that he has accepted John Fury is ducking him and trying to swerve him, and saying that Misfits is actually behind him on this. Misfits actually wants to make this fight happen. So, of course, John Fury responds. Okay, Joe Egan, here's where it's at. You're saying KSI is backing you for millions of pounds when they can't pay me, me 200 what they owe me. But here's one for you, mate. Tell that rat next to you, that pineapple, wire me my money across what he owes me. And once it's in the account, then we might be able to do some business. But until I get my 200, nothing's happening. But when, if I do get me 200, what he needs to do then is put an offer in writing to me what he is prepared to pay me to fight you. I'm not hard to do business with, mate. You know, and at the end of the day, like you say, you want to make a few quid, you know, so do I. And I'll fight anybody, like I said, when it makes business sense. For being disrespectful, Joe, you're going to have to fight me anyway when you see me. So let's hope you can, so you can get a few quid out of it, mate. Because when I see you, mate, it's coat off. I'm telling you now. So, here's what you've got to do. KSI, why me my money across what you owe me, me 200. But if you don't do that, mate, forget all about it. Because I wouldn't even piss on the both of you. There it is, John Fury. He's still animate on KSI paying him that 200k for losing to his son, Tommy Fury. But he says he's down if KSI gives him the 200k and then, of course, they sent him over a contract that he's happy with, he will do the fight. Well, if you didn't know this, I certainly did not know this either. Fury actually does have a professional boxing background. He was 8-4 as a professional with one knockout win, two knockout losses. He did have a decent record coming up. He started out 6-1, and one, but... After a couple defeats and a couple wins, he ended off his career with two knockout losses, which ultimately made him retire from the professional boxing ring. But I think this whole situation is absolutely hilarious, and I'm not gonna lie. If Misfits Boxing gets this done and puts this <laughs> as a main event, I'm interested. I'm interested. I, I look. All right, but this whole influencer boxing thing it shouldn't be taken seriously. I'm not. I'm, I never really take this seriously. They're just gonna make fun fights. That may be a little bit entertaining to the fans. And I think this is absolutely a great fight. Who wouldn't want to see, you know, John Fury. He's been going absolutely crazy lately. Constantly taking his shirt off. Talking all this shit. And not only to influencers, but also to Mike Tyson. So I think it would be absolutely hilarious to see him actually get in the ring and put some gloves on. But I just, I don't know if it's going to happen. Because number one, KSI is going to have to pay him that 200k. So I don't know if he'll do that. And number two... He said he'll have to be pleased with, you know, the contract when they send him over with how much they're going to pay him. And in my personal opinion, I just think that he's going to ask for a certain dollar amount that's out of their tax bracket so he doesn't have to get in the ring and fight. So me personally, I don't think the fight will actually happen. But if it miraculously does, if somehow th these two guys actually get in the ring and strap it up and go at it. Oh, my God, bro. I Take my money. You can put it on pay-per-view. Take my money because I... <laughs> I am in for a comedy show for real. Like, could you just imagine how fired up John Fury is going to be? This guy is probably going to do so many lines of coke before he gets in there. He's going to be so fired up. It's probably going to be the one of the funniest fights 
I probably will ever see in my life. So I'm hoping they get this thing done. But I don't know, maybe you all hate it. Maybe you love it just like me. Let me know your, your thoughts in the comments down below. Would you like to see John Fury take on Joe Egan in the Misfits boxing ring? As always, I thank you all so much for your support and I'll catch you in the next video.